the time of man, there lived a fairy king whose name was Ah. Now Ah lived in a land that was called the Angel Isle, and he had ruled for a thousand years before the first man set foot in his realm. Now to the fairy king and his people, men seemed large and loud, quick-tempered and destructive, <laughs> beings who had no time for the gentle ways of fairy folk. And before they realized what they did, the men drove Ah and his people from the fields and woods right up to the edge of the deep green sea. Now Ah was trapped, and his people could go no further. So in desperation, the fairy king sent a message to the Emerald Isle asking for help from Timish, the leprechaun king. But Timish was powerless to help as Ah and the fairy folk were barred from the Emerald Isle. But still, he could not turn his back on his cousin Ah, and therefore he asked the giant, Finn McCool, for help. A giant? Yes, Evie, a giant. Evie, shh. Shh yourself. Well, Finn McCool was usually a bad giant, but in this case he was pleased to help the people of Ah in return for the hand in marriage of Ah's daughter, Tumbeline. Tumbeline was very sad at the thought of marriage to a giant. But after her father persuaded her, she finally agreed. So Timish struck the deal with Finn McCool, and as the fairy folk rejoiced, the lumbering giant ripped up a huge piece of the Emerald Isle, and drawing back his mighty arm, he sent the piece of land sailing through the air across the sea. When the noise had settled and the water grew calm, the giant's voice boomed across the sea, telling Ah and his people that the new land he had created was to be called the Isle of Man, in honor of the king of the sea, but that Ah and his people could live there for as long as Tumbeline was his wife. Poor Tumbeline. Ah, wait and see. So, Ah took his people to the new land and he made ready for a huge celebration to which he invited the giant. Tumbeline was dressed in fairest silks with dainty flowers for a crown, ready to be the giant's bride, and waited at the cliffs with Ah and all his people as Finn McCool waded from the Emerald Isle to the new land he had made. Well, the giant's voice booms out, Oh, fairy king, I have done what you asked. Now I come for my bride. And to the amazement of all those around, Ah laughed and laughed. Oh, foolish giant, how can that be? You are too large to live on this little land, and Tumbeline is forever barred from the Emerald Isle. Where would you live? Hooray, Tumbeline is saved. She's saved, Grandma. Well, only partly. One day, one can only hope. Grandma. What? Oh, sorry. Right. Where was I? Yes, here we are. Now, as you can imagine, the giant was not too pleased. In fact, he was downright furious at being tricked. And in his rage, he scooped up all of Ah's people in his giant hand, and with the other, he tore a large hole, and there he placed Ah and all his people. Covering them with dirt, he buried them deep underground, and his voice boomed out across the sea. King Ah, oh treacherous fool, the land that I gave you so that you might live in peace shall now be a prison.
place. Yeah. Where's Hansel and Gretel, huh? <laughs> this is Grandma's. <laughs> wow, this is ours? Yeah, I guess. I guess it is. Cool. Hey, what do you say we check it out? Yeah. yeah. Back up here. Well, nobody's lived here for 40 years, but everything, the, the grounds are very neat. Electricity works. Well, I guess there's a caretaker. I wonder why your mother never, never came back here. Hello? Come on, Evie. Okay, wait for me. Hey, 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 careful. Don't break anything. Elizabeth, who are you? I'm here and I'm the caretaker here. What, 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 what the hell do you think you were doing? I'm doing my job, keeping strangers away. This is a dangerous place. You shouldn't be here. I, I'm sorry, I, I think you should go, please. Could you take your dog? Let's go. Go on, come on, come on, dog. Go, Pippin, come on, Pippin. You just stay away from my kids. Come on. Come on, dog. <laughs> Only death lives here. Foreigners. But what are you looking at? Come on. Come on. Why do I feel like we just ended a Stephen King novel? What do you say we unwrap this place like a big Christmas present? Yeah! That's not old. Look what's here. Look at this stuff. Careful, there. we don't know what's under all this stuff, huh? Ah, oh, Nancy. Underground. It's in Grandma's book. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't like it. Can we take it down? Yeah, let me see. I'm afraid not. Looks like it's bolted to the wall. Look what I found. OK. 
careful. Ooh. Now that's better. Hey, let's take it outside. Bring us luck. Oh, God, it's beautiful. Mm. I wonder how much property there is. You know, the letter didn't really say, did it? Mm. Well, I love it. I'm glad we came. Mom would be so pleased that we're all here together. Mm. Well, so am I. We need this. <coughs> Rob, we've got to do something about that. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm sorry I haven't been there. Well, you are now. Hey, who would have thought someone as ugly as you would have married someone as wonderful as me? That is an understatement. this an English breakfast oh I'm gonna get fat where are the kids oh, they were up and out hours ago oh, I made an appointment for you at the doctor's okay okay What do you want? Nothing. Well, who are you running from, eh? We weren't running from nothing. We were playing. With the fairy. Hmm? With the what? Where'd she go? Ah, uh, she's just being stupid. Well, you shouldn't be playing around here. Then why don't you tell your mum and dad to leave? Why should we? It's our house. Is it? Nobody owns this house. All the monsters that live in it. And you shouldn't be playing in these woods. If you do, they'll be watching you. They like to eat small children. Ah, uh, you're just acting crazy. Oh, am I? Hey, don't say I didn't warn you. I'm going 
just take Evie and Kyle into the village and do some shopping. I'll drop you off at the doctor. Oh, right. Yeah, I was thinking, maybe I'll take Kyle with me and stop off at the church afterwards and see if they keep any records on this place. Oh, oh. Hey, take it easy. You all right? We saw that Evie met a fairy. Really? Yeah, she lives under the bridge. Hey, friends already. You guys ready to go? Yeah, I'll meet you guys in the car. I gotta, I think my wallet's upstairs. Okay, come on, let's wait in the car. Why didn't you tell him about that man? Because he's crazy. I didn't want to worry Dad, so he'd want to leave. But he said the monsters will get us. Evie, he's just trying to scare us. No, you heard what Grandma said. Evie, it's just a dumb story in a book Grandma wrote. Look, hasn't Dad changed? Isn't it more fun? Isn't it better here? Yeah. We have to keep him here, Evie. Or else he's gonna go away and we'll never see him again, just like before. We still have to save the fairies. Hey, come on, guys. Let's go, let's go. We promised Grandma. with your little tricks. Very nice. Mom? I know, honey. You know, it's rude to stare.
Dad. Firefly. Oh, good job. Good job. Here, roll it out slowly. Don't want to rip it. There we are. Firefly mine. Claim 18 gold. According to this, there's a gold mine on the property. Grandma owned a gold mine? That's what it says here. Can I help you? Yes. Uh, we were just looking for the records for the Bala property. Bala, may I ask who wants to know? I'm sorry. I'm Rob Preston. This is my... This is my son. He's the new owner. We don't have any information on the Bala property. Well, surely there must be something. There isn't any. Not as far as I know. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sure. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Let's go. Where? Here, come here. Take the map. Look, look right around here. Nancy! 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 Nancy, look at this. Why? What is it? Gold. Carl found it down in the creek. Gold? Yes. You, you, you dug this out of the creek? Supposedly there's a gold mine here somewhere. We haven't found any trace of it yet, but we found a map of the church. It said Firefly Mine. Firefly? Do you remember what your mother said? Fireflies. Remember? Dad. No, I don't. Nancy, she's left us a gold mine. No. Yeah. Dad, I found it. I found the mine. You found where? the mine. Where? Where? Come on, follow me. Show me where. Wait for me. What are you talking about? Look, here's the mine. Where? Right there. Right, right, right there, it is, Nancy. Nancy, look, come here. It's under here. There it is. It's right under there. Nancy, look, it's right there. We own a gold mine. We're rich. Yay! Can we open it again, can we? Oh, you betcha, but we're going to need a pump. There must be some pump around here. It's probably old or rusted or something. Nancy, you guys check over here. Kyle, let's look over here. Hey, I've got to see this mine. Where is it? Is that it? It's hard to imagine there's a mine under all this water. Nancy! Nancy! Can I have a word with you? Oh, no. What now? Nancy, you don't mind if I call you that. I'd just like to apologize about yesterday. Yeah, well, you scared, Evie. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry, Evie. I didn't mean to. It's just that I didn't know you were coming. Well, didn't the solicitors tell you? No. Nobody mentioned it to me. Well, I'm sorry. You, you knew my mother? Yes, well, uh, actually, uh, we were cousins. Hm. I suppose that makes us all family. <laughs> Really? Well, I, I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, well, it's very beautiful around here. Peaceful. Yes, well, uh, don't be fooled. It may look beautiful on the surface, but the pond, the house, it's all tainted. Tainted with evil. What's that supposed to mean? It means anyone with any sense will stay well away from this place. Really? A lot of people have died here. Please, sir. I wouldn't want you to be next. Hey, 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 hey. What are you what are you doing here? No, you can't. You must be mad. You you can't drain that pond. But, yeah, here we go again. Look, I'm mad. This is our pond. This is our house. If we want to drain it, then that's exactly what we'll do. And you better get used to the idea. You're making a mistake. A big mistake. Look, Elizabeth knew, she knew, that's why we took her away from here. Knew what, that there was a gold mine in here? Yeah, maybe that's why you're so keen to keep people away, huh? So you can keep it all to yourself. You know about the mine? I sure do. It's deep, huh? 
Please, you've got to listen to me. Don't open that mine. You open that mine, you'll free the demons. Uh, demons? Would, would, please just go away. Come on, Kyle. Go away. All right, I'll go. But before this is over, you'll be needing me. Okay, well, thank you very much. We'll remember that. Leave your phone number at the front door. Bye. Thank you. You okay, Mom? Yeah. Yeah, honey. So, uh, where did you find this? Oh, it's in a box right over there. In fact, TV, I want you to run over there. You see that brown box? When I tell you to, you'll see a red switch. I want you to hit it, all right? I hope this is gonna work. Kyle, get ready. Ready? Go ahead. Look, this is gonna take a while to drain. I'm starving. Let's go inside, get something to eat. We'll come back in a little while, and don't you worry. There's a lunatic in every family. Yeah, well, there isn't yours. Who would that be? to believe me. <laughs> I'll show. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Yeah. Lovely dog. <laughs> oh, oh, it's starting to wobble. Whoa. Oh, it's going to fall down. Oh. <laughs> oh, <it's falling> down. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Quit having so much fun. Oh, I got you, girl. Huh? Okay. Time for bed, okay, Kyle. Up you Come go. on, Evie. Off to bed. And up you go. Like a rocket. One, two, three. Ooh. Here you are, darling. I want a pony. We're not rich yet. I want one, Daddy. Hey, you know, there might not be anything down there. But we'll find out tomorrow, well. won't we? Good night, Kyle. Good night, my little scrumptious bumptious. Mwah. All right, in we go, in we go, in we go, in we go. Big kiss, huh? Mwah. All right. Night, guys. Night. Good night, Dad. Night. Mwah. Beautiful. They want us to save them, Kyle. Save who from what? Who are you waving to? The fairy. Who do you think? What's the matter? Oh, nothing, I guess. It's just, what if Ian's right? 
What? what would we have monsters in our garden? No. <laughs> but it could be dangerous opening an old mine. Uh, and what did he mean when he said Mom knew and, and being taken away? Oh, Nancy, I have no idea, but don't let it get to you. Look at this. Why are these people so against us? What have we done to make them hate us? They're not against us. We're just newcomers. You know that in 20 years, we're still going to be newcomers. Yeah, but I don't think I want to hang around for 20 years. Well, do you want to go home? No, no, of course not. Mm, want to get under the covers with me? Hmm, maybe. Want some gold? Mmm, definitely. <laughs> Come on, give it to me. <laughs> Here it is. Come and get it. Come and Are you okay? What? What's wrong, Kyle? I had a bad dream. About the mine and the goblins. It's just a dream, Kyle. Huh? Just a dream. It's all this talk of fairies and demons. Come on, darling, lie down. Just close your eyes and go to sleep. Think of thoughts. It's all right. Mm. Mom. Evie, back to bed. Come on. There you go. Okay, back to sleep. Good girl. Okay. Just a dream. Ian has a lot to answer for. You'll be all right, okay? I'll leave the light on. Can I sleep with you? What time is it? Uh, it's six o'clock. It's all right. It's just someone at the door, that's all. Got you out of bed a bit earlier, huh? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Sorry about that. Early risers round here. Jim Blind, local constabulary. Ah, oh, hi, hi, Rob Preston. A bit early for a cup of tea, is it? Or would that be coffee? Why are you being American? Whatever. Morning, Mum. Uh, good morning. Down here, is it? Yeah, 
Thank you, ma'am. So, to what do we owe the pleasure? Oh, just a social call. We'd like to know who's moving in and who's moving out. Do you want us to move out? Whatever gave you that idea? Well, if you don't, you're the only one in town who doesn't. I shouldn't take too much notice of what people say around here, ma'am. They mean no harm. They're just suspicious, that's all. And this property of yours has got its fair share of history. Well, like what, exactly? A couple of miners were killed when the mine was closed down. Oh, way back in 1800s, I think it was. Why'd they close it down? <sighs> well, one day they opened up a new cabin, and a pile of creatures swarmed out. Creatures? creatures. Some of the locals think they're still down there. Well, you don't believe that, do you? I didn't say I did. But some of the folk around here do. Well, you're aware that there may be gold down in that mine? Aye. So I've heard. Are you not from around here? <laughs> no, Lancashire lad. Been here for 15 years, and I'm still an outsider. Do you think maybe that... Maybe these people are trying to frighten us so they can get their greedy hands on the gold? No, Mr. Preston. I don't. Things go a lot deeper than that round here. I'm afraid you're into something far bigger than greed. Well, you'll call me if you need me. Will I? Need you. Not if you leave your mind alone. Nice to meet you, man. Thanks for the call. I'll make my own way out. Whatever happened to Hi? Nice to meet you. Welcome to the community. I think it rains too much on these people. Are we gonna leave? No, because no, I don't believe in demons, I don't believe in goblins, I don't believe in fairies. No, we're not going anywhere until we decide to. Now, uh, why don't we get dressed? I think I want to check out that gold mine. Fairies from Grandma's story. What? You know, Tumbleine and the fairy folk of R. They're trapped underground. Evie, you're so stupid. <laughs>
Firefly Mine. Cool. <laughs> hey, Kyle, careful. Oh, Rob, I don't like this. I mean, never mind the legend. I, I, I think you should leave this mine alone. It's old and dangerous. Relax. We're gonna be fine. Can I go with you? No. Uh, I think I better go first, huh? Okay. Hold still. Oh, yeah! No, she's not. <laughs> Here, take my hand, take my hand. Be very careful now. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Watch me walk. No, hold on, hold on. We'll get this hose back down there with rain the rest of the Nancy is the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Can I see? Can I? Can I please? Evie, no, no. Later, Evie. Aww. Come on, let's get you into a nice oh. warm bath. Oh, oh careful. careful. Oh. Look at you. Oh. Come on, darling. Oh. You can catch a cold, Kyle. Come on, <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Call 999, get an ambulance. Daddy? Hurry! Daddy? Mrs. Preston, we've got the results of the tests we did. I'm afraid there's no easy way to say this. Your husband's very sick, Mrs. Preston. We'll know more in a couple of days, but there's not much we can do except help him stay as comfortable as possible. Well, what are you saying? With rest and medication, he may have two or three months. He's going to die? I suggest you take him home. He'll be better off in the States. They're, they're better equipped for, for this sort of thing. I'm sorry. Said he could come home in a couple of days. What does Dad have? Come here. Your father is. He's very sick. Is he going to die like Grandma? something with me right now. I want you to pray. I want you to pray to God. And ask him for a miracle. Go home. I feel like 
feel so tired. Don't worry. I'll take you home. It'll be okay. Don't worry. Evie! 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 What? Your fairy friend can help Dad, Evie. Make him well. No, Kyle. She can't. But your arm. She cured your arm. This is different. Only the Fairy King has enough power to save Dad. We have to set him free. What's wrong? What if Ian's right? I mean, what if they're evil and they start killing again? Because we opened up the mine. Then what? They won't. What if they do? What if they're demons? We got to take a chance. Yeah. Come on. to you. Now, I don't want you to ever come down here again. This mine is dangerous, and I don't want you anywhere near it. But, Mom, they could save Dad if I open it. Who can? You know, Evie's friend, the fairy. Kyle. Really? Really, Mom? Kyle. I know you're frightened. So am I. But I need you to be strong for me, Kyle. Remember E.T.? His finger? Oh, Kyle. That was just a film. A film. Now, look, I don't want you to come down here again. It's dangerous down here, okay? Promise me, Kyle. Promise. Promise. Okay. Come on now. I'm not going to hurt you. Calm down. It's those little devils that I'm after. Hey, you shouldn't be down here with them. I mean, you shouldn't be here at all. They're not good. Keep away. Hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh. oh. All right, don't be like that. Didn't mean to scare her. Come on. He 
almost got me. Ian, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna go into town and get some help. Can I come too? No, you stay here. Do you have a bulletin board where people put their wanted ads? Yes, what is it you need? Um, yeah. I live up at the Bala house, and I was wondering if somebody could help me work up at the mine. Bala? Oh, my God. Are you mad? Go, get out of my shop, go! I live up at the Bala house. No, no way. I've got no time to waste on you. Get out of here. Go on, clear it out, kid. and I was wondering if anybody could help me. I could pay. I told you and your sister to leave before the monsters get you. Stay away from me, mister. Leave her alone. Or what? I told you to leave and you wouldn't. And now your father's sick. See, he's paying the price for meddling in things he doesn't understand. You're a liar. There was no call to frighten the kid. Ah, well. See, every day they're up at that place. We're in more danger here. I'd just like to see them go. For their own good as well as for ours. Has it ever occurred to you that we're far too old to believe all this nonsense? What are you talking? I, I've seen them! But what would you know? You don't belong here any more than they do. That's it, isn't it, Ian? That's what really scares you. Anyone who's different. Anyone who doesn't fit in with your limited knowledge at world. And the rest of you. You're all just as bad. All of you prejudiced. It doesn't matter if they're demons or people. If they're different, they scare you. And what scares you, you destroy. Even a little kid. You're pathetic.
Then we'll have to do it ourselves. We can. We got it, Kyle. We can. We promised Grandma. Hey. Hey, what's all the shouting about? Dad. Dad. It's true. There are goblins in the mine. They're trapped. They're really fairies. Can't you see? They can help you, Dad. All we've got to do is open it up and let him go. Oh, this is ridiculous. We should have stomped on this nonsense right at the beginning. Please, Dad. Believe me. Help me open it. Help me save them. Please, Daddy. No. We need to get your father home where he can get the treatment he needs. Nancy. Rob, I'm not going to let you do this. I've got to. It's, it's important. <sighs> Just for a couple of days. Let's go save us some berries, huh? Yeah. Hit it.
I'll grab that shovel, would you? <coughs> Good day's work, guys. Bright and early tomorrow morning. Yeah. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. I mean, what if you open the mine and the goblins are evil? Then what? Well, you know, sometimes, Kyle, you just gotta go with your feelings. You gotta take a chance at what you believe in. Do you think they're evil? No. No. Well, then we have to help her. All right, Evie, come on. Why do we get cleaned up? Kyle, I want you to turn off these lights and secure the archive. Never listen. You think you know everything, don't you? And you don't? I've lived here all my life. I know about them things, and I can prove it to you. What do you mean? Yeah, you come with me. I'll show you. Yes! Yes! Come on, move along. Help! Go on. Yes. Come on, Pushing get on with it. Move Stop on. Stop it! Quit yeah. it! I mean, do you think we're making it all up? Do you think we're kidding about things in that mine? Look, see for yourself. Uh. Look at the face of a demon! <laughs> You're crazy! Just a crazy old man! They're not demons! They're 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 the ones dead, aren't they? Uh, if they're if they're so evil, how come they're the ones dead? How come they're the ones lying there? Hey. You're the ones that are evil, not them! You are! You killed them! They were trapped! All they wanted to do was to escape and you killed them! You! You and your stupid town! Kyle. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but we need to get your father home. We can't go, not now. Hey, 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 hey. Look, I'm not going. I'm not giving up. They can cure you, Dad. That's enough. We're leaving, and that's final. I've had it up to here with these stupid stories. Your father's sick, and we're going home. Nancy. No, Rob, what do you expect me to do? Just sit here and watch you die? We're going home. Kind of diamond's gonna be all my fault. Only if I could have opened the mine. Hey, Kyle. Kyle, you did everything you could do, son. Come here. Come here, Evie. I love you guys. I love you so much. I love you too, Daddy. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to do what I think is right. I know. Oh, we have to make plans. If only it were true. If only there were fairies. ETs with the power of healing. I don't want to lose you.
Are you okay? Oh, are you okay, honey? Oh. It's open. We did it. Tried to warn you. You got the old place stirred up. Look, this is our mine. It's on our land. We're gonna do what we want. Nobody's gonna stop us. That's right. But you gotta understand how these people feel. I haven't got the manpower to provide you with protection. Pr protection? Like, which is, uh, this legend of theirs isn't a joke, Mr. Preston. It's real to them. They know it's true. They're frightened. And fear makes people do things they regret. Look, I want everybody out of here now. Just calm down. I want everybody Sir. out. Just calm down. Careful, Evie. Careful, Kyle. Okay, let's get out of here. Everybody out of here. You're all my land. You two are with hey, you. Make out of here. You're making a mistake. Go, go down there. No, Jim. Oh, oh. Let him go! Oh, you fools. All right, look. A tragedy happened here. It was a long time ago. But you're making a worse one right now. That's the evil of this place. Not what's down there, but here in your hearts. Oh, 
Please. Please help me. Oh, please. Please. Please help me. Please. Please. Somebody. Please, Ian. They just want to be free. They won't hurt. 
Dad takes Evie and me fishing a lot with him. Tess found no sign of the sickness in his body. Ian turned out to be just one of Mom's cousins. Seems she has a lot of cousins here. I'm glad we freed the goblins so they can go home. So Evie says she still plays with the fairies at the bottom of the garden. I guess it's nice to know that there's still a little magic left in the world. <laughs>